Welcome back and thank you very much indeed. We're set to get into our news review segment. The finder reports that 200,000 houses, 100,000 for teachers and students, it will create 3,000 new jobs. Vigilantism is inimical to Ghana. MPP and NDC agree. KMA executes 133 development projects. Stop politicians from sponsoring student elections. One Ghana movement cries out. The Ghanaian Times. Cop and three others jailed 70 years for armed robbery. Police arrest 50 illegal Korea postal service operators in Accra. Vigilantism is inimical to Ghana's development, according to the MPP and NDC. They disagree, by the way. Ghana gas completely tied in work resumes uh, gas supply to VRA. The Daily Graphic. Ghana gas connects pipeline to Abwazi Power Enclave. Stake Holders kick against public universities bill. Ministry says reactions are premature. Towards disbanding vigilante groups, MPP NDC finally meets. And finally, the Daily Guide. We will shoot to kill saboteurs. That's according to Major Lawrence Apia, retired. He says uh, we will not slow down. Nam one freed. That's the banner headline on the front page of the Daily Guide. Ready to pay customers, uh, the PRO says. So, Doomsaw ends. New twist in NCA trial. Peace Council meets MPP and NDC. 100,000 more houses for teachers and students. My guest this morning, uh, Madame Rodling Ayana. She's a former vice chairman of the CPP. Madam, welcome. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks Richard Ahiagba you. is a deputy communications director of the NPP. Rich, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Right. And lawyer Abraham Amaleba is a member of the NDC's communication team. He was yesterday also at the uh, meeting. Uh, where the two parties met. Council, good morning. A very, very good morning. How are you doing this morning? Very well after yesterday's marathon meeting, which ended abruptly anyway, and we had to proceed to the CRA headquarters. Why, why so? Um, we went for snack breaks, and when we returned, we had a call that we should report at the police CID mm -hmm. with our chairman, so we had to end it and move to the police headquarters. What was the nature of this call? Oh, it's in connection with the leak tape. You know about okay. the leak tape. Right. So, the police indicated that um, they were dropping the old charges. And this is the third time they are dropping charges. Mm. You, you can imagine. They are uh, engaging deep sea fishing. And so they've preferred two new charges and mm. dropped the old ones. So mm. we are waiting for them. Yesterday you were in the meeting. Um, you both, both parties have agreed that Political vigilantism is inimical to our political success. Is that enough? The agreement of saying, is that enough? That is not enough, but good morning to your viewers. Mm. That is not enough, but that is a starting point. To acknowledge your ailment and to agree that you will sit around and discuss it. And because this is not the last meeting, we are yet to continue with uh, another meeting on the 29th. Okay. But it's a good start <coughs> for the two political parties to finally agree to sit and discuss. But did it meet our expectation as a political party? That's the NDC side. No. Why not? The posture of the MPP yesterday did not give us any hope that. Um, they came onto the table to deal with the matters that confront this country. How, how do you mean? We, okay, so the Peace Council invited us to discuss two things. Mm. The guidelines and terms that will guide the processes. Right. The first guideline was identify vigilante groups and disband them. Mm. The MPP kicked against that. that is, it's not necessary to identify them and that some of these uh, vigilante groups, as we, we have both indicated, were not formed by us. Mm. So if you've not formed something, how can you disband? And we thought that that is a wrong premise because every Ghanaian knows which, political, uh, which uh, vigilante group is affiliated to the political parties. Mm. I can close my eyes and, and gr group in the dark and mention names. The MPP will say Azoka Boys, NDC. Hawks, NDC. I can also say Visible Forces. 
Delta Forces, Kandahar Boys. So the Ghanaian people know. Then they came around to say, oh, okay, we can shelve it and come back to it later on. Shelve that portion that of it. That first point. Okay. And that they are not entirely opposed to it, but they can will, will come back. That was an amendment to their position. Mm -hmm. Now And what was your position? What was your party's position? No, we said that we can go ahead, name them and disband and them. And disband them. Okay. But the more critical issue, or there are two critical issues that we disagreed. Tell me. The scope of the discussion and also the stakeholders or stakeholder engagement or inclusion of other stakeholders. Mm. We were of the view that the discussions should cover political vigilantism mm. and the disbandment of same in all its forms or ramifications. The MPP said no, it should be disbanding political party vigilantism and all its ramifications. Meaning that it should only be the vigilante groups that are known and linked to the political party. We said that the matter goes beyond that. There are land guards mm. who political parties go and take to do their bidding and they will go back to their land guards. So even if you ban only your, those who are aff affiliated to you, mm. there's still a cake of gunpowder somewhere waiting to explode but but that was the the council's uh, proposition that all groups that intimidate and cause political violence to gain political points should should be disbanded that was their proposal the, uh, the NPC yes that was their proposal right. that we should ban all groups not only just those connected to the political parties the mpp disagreed so, because of that, when you look at this uh, communique, mm. it seeks to capture the two positions. But the, the NPC also put together certain proposals for both parties to sign on to as your that's a initial commitment. That's a communique. Your initial commitment to ending this. Yes, that's a communique. And you signed on to We it. signed on to that communique. Okay. We said that we are, and that's what the papers have captured. Right. We agreed to this ban we think it is inimical mm. to the, the growth of our democracy we agree to that right but now the scope we didn't agree mm. and the second one has to do with the stakeholder engagement we said the two of us alone cannot okay we said the two of us alone mm. we said that you can't be talking about disbanding uh, political vigilante groups without bringing in the police okay without bringing in civil society mm. there are there are groups that are experts CDD, Kofi Annan Peacekeeping Center, all this group must be brought on board. Some will act as facilitators. Mm. The MPP said no. Okay. So yesterday we mm. came out with one understanding, which is we both agree mm. that political party vigilantism was inimical to mm. the development of our democracy. Okay. And it, they should be disbanded. Mm. But the process was not one which we agreed on a single way of doing it. Okay. We would return on the 29th. These are, these are ongoing talks. When, when you return on the 29th, what will you, will you be Because the meeting work? ended abruptly. We, okay. we had gone on snack break okay. and were to return. return. Okay. And then now look at the terms okay. of engagement, engagement. and okay. also the guidelines. Okay. And so that, that will be done on the 29th. But, but a that. quick one before we come to Richard and, and Madame. What new charges have been preferred against the NDC chairman? Um, we got there. They said they were going to drop their old charges mm. and said they were now going to prefer two new charges, which is conspiracy mm. to cause harm. Mm -hmm. And the second one has to do with assault on a public officer. Okay. I asked the question, who did he assault? I asked the question, who <coughs> is the complainant? Because when you talk about assault, then there's an attempt to hit somebody mm -hmm. or you've even battered that person. So I said, who is the complainant? Who, which officer is that? Prison officer? Fire officer? Which officer? From the tip, which officer did he? Mm -hmm. They were not... 
in a position to tell us. So clearly, these are all trump up charges just to en ensure that our chairman is engaged and not being able to do his party work. Uh, this these charges, any reasonable person will come to a conclusion. They are not born out of the the the, the leak tape. Mm -hmm. Assault on a public officer? Which, which public officer? <laughs> okay, thank you. So, Rich, step in for me. Uh, why, why is your party, for example, this is Amalibai's account, by the way, which we're relying on. Why is your party uh, raising caveats about identifying violent groups that will intimidate people for political gain to disband them? And, and saying that we're restricted to parties, the uh, groups that are affiliated to us. Why is that so? Yeah, Johnny, good morning to you and uh, to your viewers and to my co-panelists here. I want to also say good morning to the president. Uh, I think he has a very important assignment today. And I think he'll follow that up with a tour of the uh, north, uh, Western North region. And also good morning to my party leadership um, and the leadership of the party in the Volta region. Um, the, the meeting yesterday was uh, one that we all anticipated with high expectation that uh, there will be something constructive mm -hmm. that comes out. And I think... Better late than never. Yes, yes. I think we're all happy that it happened. Uh, it, it demonstrates, uh, again, uh, the party's commitment, the M MPP, I'm saying, and, and in other words, the NDC also, commitment to... Uh, following the strong uh, leadership of the president to try to do something about this before it's too late. And so I commend the NDC for uh, showing up for that meeting and the MPP. Uh, now, the, the issues coming up, uh, what I, have, I know mm. and I can tell you at this point is that uh, the MPP's position is very clear that per the, the incidents that we've seen and per the direction and the resolve of the president to see an end to this, mm. uh, the MPP is committed uh, to assuring that at all costs this must be resolved in a way that helps Ghana, mm. uh, that helps our politics grow uh, and not suffer from you know, these things. So uh, our position is very clear. I don't see any caveats uh, um, in, in this. We have not made any exceptions about anything. But the thing about uh, this whole thing is that uh, the discussion is supposed to be led by or mediated by the uh, uh, Peace Council. Peace Council right. um, and that we are going there to explore ways we can do that peacefully and, and ensure that our space becomes sanitized. The, the Peace Council's proposal is that identify all groups, whether they are affiliated to you or not, so long as they intimidate people and they cause violence during the electioneering process, identify them and disband them. Amaliba says your side of the divide at the meeting said no. Well, you see, uh, we, we need to be very focused. The, the reference for this meeting and, and the more or less the directive was that let's meet and disband political vigilantism or political groups that are engaged in the political space that is being disruptive. So let's meet and disband those. Now we also, we've understood, the NDC have made the same argument that they didn't create or form mm. any vigilante group. And that puts you in a difficult spot when mm. you are supposed to be meeting to disband something you didn't create in the first place. Now essentially what we're trying to do in that meeting mm. is to ensure that in our politics, there cannot be any group, whether associated with a party mm. or independent, to say that they are defending or fighting the cause of any political party. Mm. So that when, whether or not you identify them, okay, we're saying that in this space, we don't want anything to form, even to, to want to advance the cause of any political party. Mm. So really, whether you identify them or don't identify them, really it's, it's neither here nor there. The point is that we as a political party wants to agree. You see, this thing can be as simple as well, we... What is the essence of the agreement if we can't put action to what we agree? No, uh, right. Johnny, you did, by the way. <laughs> uh, sorry, 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 sorry. For, <laughs> forgive me, forgive me, Johnny. Um, uh, forgive me. Uh, you see... If you didn't form something, okay, mm. how would you disband it? You understand? But the meeting, the symbolic use of disbandment, mm. 
for me, comes in when, as a political party, you are saying that in our party, mm -hmm. we are not going to accept, whether we formed it or the person forms it and wants to align with us, mm -hmm. we are not going to condone that behavior. It's as simple as that. So when you are saying, let's identify, then you are getting into a slippery slope where you are getting people to say that, okay, well, but this too must be disbanded. Mm -hmm. That too must be disbanded. Simple thing, let's have a declaration to say, we, the MPP, don't subscribe to the actions of vigilantism. And then what? And that, if there is any such organization mm. or forming of people to say we are advancing the cause of MPP, mm. we will not condone it. And if you see that group, we don't sanction them. You well, understand? Mm. So that when, when you do that, it's a standing declaration and everybody knows it. Mm. So if there's a group stand, standing somewhere to say that, oh, I am so-so and so group and I'm affiliated with the M mm. MPP and I'm doing MPP's bidding, you know for sure as a police officer, as a law enforcement, that that's not true. That, and you can handle that, was, that person mm. as a criminal. There was also another portion of the conversation that says, look, let's identify those who have already been uh, inculcated into the security services and try and take them out because the bigger picture is that they may not have been properly trained they may not have the requisite capacity and so they got in there wrongfully mm. then tie that in quickly so yeah. madam can have but, a bite but, with with um alibes uh parties uh assertion that look we should have civil society organizations and other professional groupings join in the conversation yeah, to serve as facilitators. Uh, see, right the president was clear Okay, unless we want to do something entirely different from what the president called for. Mm -hmm. I want to do a consultative undertaking across the length and breadth of this country. Is it necessary to do it? I, I'm saying, it? I'm just trying to differentiate. Is it necessary to do that? I'm, 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 the, I'm, the president's directive was one. Was specific. The, the MPC had said that, uh, the president said, meet. If you don't, I will have legislation put together to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Then the parties decide to meet. Issues have come up. And at that table where you met to solve the problem, we said, look, this was the directive. This was our term of reference. But we have realized that the problem is actually bigger than what it looks on paper. Let's broaden the scope and let's fix it once and for all. But, right. It, let, does let, the MPP have a problem Let's not with magnify that? this thing. Look, what is the, what's the concept of the president's directive to solve a problem we have? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that problem is what? Individuals engaged in the political space that mm -hmm. are doing things that are inimical okay uh, per, uh right, graphics uh, uh description. But all of them carry the same uh, thing okay it's inimical okay so if this action is inimical the concept is that we want to stop it okay so when we go to sit at the table what are the ways to stop uh, to stop will you will you ad advise you that we have uh Political groupings, Kofi Annan, International Peace Keeping. What well, I'm saying, IDEG, uh, no, see, CDD. that is a conversation we can have. But we're talking about a case in point, what we are doing today. Okay? Mm -hmm. You see, when you are committed to doing something. Do you, do you think I, that these groups are important to this conversation? Let, let's put that aside because that's not no, what... I, I, I'm no, no. asking that question. I but I can't aside. answer your question if you're adding those because that is not what we are dealing with now. What we're okay. dealing with is what we have. What the president said we should do, what meeting took place yesterday did not include anybody, it included the NDC and the MPP. Okay. And we're addressing the issue flowing and, and from that. And they are that. calling for... The, your, the other it's side okay. It's okay. But then the let's talk... is calling for it. Otherwise, this becomes a fluid conversation. We don't know where it starts and where it ends. What we're looking at right before us is the meeting of the two mm. if this thing affects the two people flowing from the meeting of the two which mm -hmm. ended abruptly which is inconclusive is so that is that they want other people to come on people with expertise and experience and i'm asking you as deputy communications director of the mpp is it does it does that proposal make sense to you in trying to solve the problem of political vigilantism which both parties have agreed is inimical to a democratic process Johnny, what happened here? I can answer your question easily. But, so answer, but that is answer not, it before you move no, on. No, I am not the president. The president has given directive to do. You understand? The president may not. The president didn't reach this conclusion just by waking up to reach that conclusion. Okay. We have consulted with Council of State and okay. a host of other people okay. to address this issue. So I want to deal with the, the, the issue we have here, which is two people go and sit down mm. and try to bring some resolution to this matter. Mm. And I am telling you, Bright, uh, Johnny, that this is as simple as these two parties going there upon the direct, uh, direction of the president to say, mm. we, the MPP, we, the NDC, declare that 
Henceforth, mm -hmm. any group, any political organization, mm -hmm. or any group of people mm -hmm. who are engaged in violent undertaking mm -hmm. in the name of me, the MPP, or in the name of we, the NDC, mm -hmm. We reject them. That any such group behaving in that manner mm. can be dealt with as a criminal enterprise is, that has is no... It, is it as simple as that? It's as simple as that because it's a legal position. And, and now answer my question, yes. if you have done this. Is it, does the proposal to have other CSOs and other professional groupings join the discussion to help shape the... Does it make sense to it you? Can, it, can always, it, it, can, it can be allowed. But the point, uh, point of it is does that... Does it make sense to you? It does make sense. Okay. Everything makes sense. Thank but Johnny... You. Thank is you it, very much. No, no, Johnny, Johnny, have, Johnny please, please. Lady waiting for, yeah, no, not, no, no. It's not nice. But you see, <laughs> when you, when you uh, huckle me this way... Hang on. The point I'm trying to make is this. With that simple declaration I'm talking about is that you go to that meeting and people bring fresh ideas, things that really does not address the central purpose of being in that meeting. Okay. And that's what I see the NDC doing. Okay. They are not really interested in addressing the Bringing whole issue. Is which, not part of it. No, no, please. <laughs> we, we went into this meeting knowing the president was clear mm -hmm. that A, B, and C go meet. Mm -hmm. NDC, MPP meet. That was the directing. Okay. So you are meeting under that instruction. Okay. So when you go to that meeting and you're making new recommendation, mm -hmm. then it means you didn't go there to undertake the expert press instruction does that was change, given for you to come. the scope of the conversation as instructed by the president? It does, it because does. he says the okay. two of you go fix it. Okay, thank you. Madam, sorry for keeping you waiting, but I know that the women have a big heart and <laughs> the women are the peacemakers of our country. What, what are your thoughts exactly, knowing that the pull and push has started already? It took forever for the parties to meet, uh, even though I agree that every political party has a long list of executives, both elected and appointed. Uh, we were told that some key elements were not available, so we couldn't have it anyway. That's gone. The meeting finally has happened, the first one. What are your thoughts? Um, good morning to our viewers. First and foremost, I'd like to say that um, the two parties, that's the NDC and the MPP, mm. are not being sincere to Ghanaians. In the first instance, they will have to accept that they do have vigilantes mm. within their midst. And this they have denied. Mm. The two parties are claiming that they do not own vigilantes. We are also told that individuals own those vigilantes. Right. So I am asking if it's just as simple as just issuing out a statement mm. saying that we do not have vigilantes and we do not want anyone going out there mm. representing us as a vigilante or a member of our party. That's simple enough. Right. But that is not what we are looking for mm. because we've never seen such militancy within our, our, our elections. To the extent that we have people who look like they're coming from Afghanistan or some other place, or something that woke us up mm -hmm. as a country, mm -hmm. we do not want to sit and wait till Rwanda repeats itself, mm -hmm. or Uganda, or Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. or for that matter, Liberia. Mm -hmm. And that is why we want to get answers to what is happening. Right. So this particular meeting that they had, I expected that the first thing was to agree that there was a problem and that they do have Are vigilantes. you disappointed they didn't? I am totally disappointed, and I don't think that they really want to solve this problem. Um, I side somehow with the NDC on one aspect, okay. that the two of them alone cannot talk about this. Mm -hmm. All other stakeholders, including the minority parties, because you see, sometimes they think that we don't have votes, but we do have people, mm -hmm. in the sense that about half of the people in this country are normally just floating voters. Mm -hmm. So. If you come and you sit and you think, maybe, who knows if CPP has one? You understand? So you will never know. Mm. And it, it takes from somewhere. So I expect the, um, apart from the Peace Council, mm. I expect all other stakeholders, um, civil society organizations, people yeah. that would be able to at least appeal to the conscience mm. of these two um, majority holders of this country's uh, uh, leadership mm. to be able to give us the right things that we're looking for. I'm also appalled mm -hmm. that with the type of intelligence that we have in this country, the police could not pick up intelligence that there was a meeting of this nature, mm -hmm. which is so important to the peace and security of this country, and to walk in there and to end that meeting at, abruptly oh, because they, they had to invite... They, they knew about the meeting. That is what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. if you knew about the meeting and people were sitting in there talking about something that is so important, like vigilantism, you know, 
which, which has to do with the security and the peace that we're having in this country. Mm. And you could go in there and ask for the chairman, who is the head of no, that No, let me group. correct this. They mm. didn't walk in. And what happened? They invited. They invited. Yeah, they, they, they correct. I'm the lawyer for the oh, chairman, so of, of, of they the correspond okay. with me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Whatever it was. Yeah. Correspond no, just, just make okay, it. Okay, but uh -huh. even if they didn't invite you, but that correspondence was there to a lawyer. Okay. But they knew you were at the meeting, didn't they? Didn't they know that yeah. on that particular day there was supposed to be this meeting? Mm. Couldn't it wait? You understand? Now we are being given an excuse that it ended abruptly because of this invite. You, you understand? Right. That is so the process was truncated. The, the process was truncated. Right. And for me, that is a no-no. It, it shouldn't happen again. You, you understand? Mm. And then we're looking at um, a situation where um, they're saying that they don't have vigilantes. Mm. And I'm asking, so what should we do? Then the best thing for us to do mm. is to call the Inspector General of Police to invite those names that they know. They should mm. give us names of people in mm. their parties who own these vigilantes? The, the president groups. has continually told the uh, IGP to make the laws work. We haven't seen that. Well, how can the IGP? I mean, this is something that we're bantering about. When the IGP is appointed by a president mm. and the IGP owes his job to the president, mm. you understand? How do you expect him to be uh, uh, neutral? He's also afraid of his job. Do you see light at the end of the tunnel in trying to fix this problem of vigilantism, which the parties have agreed that is inimical? to a democratic process. Do you see light at the end? I don't. Time? Why not? I don't because... They, they, they are in the same they room are discussing. Not, they are not being... Unless they become sincere. I don't see any sincerity. Mm. Because, you see, this thing didn't start yesterday or with the MPP government. Mm. Um, vigilantism, maybe we didn't see them the way we saw them at Ayawaso West Wogan. Mm. You understand? Right. But we've always had boys, maybe macho boys and the likes. And we've always had them go into the military, like the security agencies. Both parties do them. You understand? Yes. But the one that is carrying us is what we saw. Mm. What we saw at um, Ayawaso is what has suddenly woken us up to think that characters like this, excuse me, say using the, 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 the term characters mm. like this, should be in our security uh, services. Mm. That is scary. Because for me, elections are supposed to be between the electoral, uh, commissioner's office, mm. the political parties, and those that are like the uh, um, observers and the staff. We don't need vigilantes. In, in 2020, COP Kofi Bwachi says if we don't fix this problem, 2020 will not be good. That's, that's what that's he the says. Way we the see chief it. of police he says if we don't fix this, 2020 we will be sorry. Uh, again, I ask you. So you say the parties are not being sincere. What do you propose? What what should they do moving forward? They are meeting on the 29th. What do you suggest? No, moving forward, I think that they should, they should agree, they should accept that they do have vigilantes. Their members are the ones that own them, and they should give us the list of the members, those leaders of those vigilantes. Okay. And the police must invite those leaders mm. and ask them to disband them. Mm. Th th that's one of the things. Okay. You have to ask the leaders of those vigilante groups mm. to disband them. That is number one. Okay. Number two, we are hearing that some of them are in national security. We're hearing that some of them have been put into the uh, security agencies, mm. from immigration to the army to the police. Mm. And you see, when you sit back as an observer, you will see that we are having a lot of violence in the communities now. You know, the police are, are beating up people, mm. and you see that citizens are beginning to fight back. Right. Now, that is a dangerous sign. Mm. So if we sit back and think that we're just two parties looking for power, looking for leadership for this country, and all we need to do is just what, you know, if it serves us right, we accept it. Mm. No, it shouldn't be that way. You should know that we are, we are going to rule over people, and we demand that we should be safe. Okay. You understand? Mm. So at the end of it all, what mm. we are saying is that this country remains a peaceful country. Right. And we want that to happen mm. by these two people, these two parties, mm. agreeing that there is a problem. Amaliba, do we have a problem? Madam says you are not being honest, both of you. Uh, that is your parties. You are not being honest uh, in owning the vigilante groups who have sorted you out since 1992. Do you agree with that position? To the best of my knowledge, and I sit on the uh, NDC FEC, I'm part of the executives on FEC. Mm. Functional executive committee, committee yes. Mm. Now, I need to state clearly that there hasn't been any discussion that says that NDC, we are forming a vigilante group. But admittedly, mm. admittedly, yes. There are people who have their groups. Azoka has his boys. Okay. And I'm told that it started because he was a, he's a chief. Not that he was. He was a chief. 
they call them Azoka boys. And okay. anytime he's moving, he moves along with these boys. Yes, we cannot say Azoka is not part of NDC. Mm. We can't disown him. He is. But the group that follows him around okay. is not a group sanctioned by the NDC. So, so, uh, so I, ask a, I ask a very simple question. I was at trade fair at your Congress. I saw some gentlemen, well built, wearing uh, red shirts, um, some wearing camouflage, some wearing khaki, with boots, assault boots, and all. Who are they? It's good. These are the boys we are saying that belong to individuals. Okay. To tell but what were they doing at your company? No, they provided security. To tell you how, after Ayawasu West, mm. the party took a stand. And to disassociate ourselves from them was for you now to look at our presidential, our, uh, our, our uh, primaries mm. for the presidential uh, slot. Mm. You saw it. We decided that all those people should not be part of the process. Okay. And we used the police. Mm. This is to tell you that as a party, we do not sanction the behavior of those people. Some say it was a nine day wonder. That some say that it's a clean break, mm. a clean break from, and everybody commended us, including the MPP. They commended us on the organization of that primary. Right. But you see, this whole shenanigans about the present directives, the present directives, and we can't go outside the present directive. It's neither here nor there because the present directive is not an order and can be varied. And I just want to indicate one variation. At the State of the Nation address, mm. the president directed that the two political parties should meet. In a week. In a week. Mm. The president did not say the two political parties should meet under the auspices of the National Peace Council. Mm. Today, is it, is it not the National Peace Council that is presiding? Hasn't there be an, a variation? Hasn't, haven't there be a variation of the president directive Th that was because you parties were not were not ready to no, meet. you should be <laughs> following you know is the NDC that proposed a mediator mm. yesterday i asked the mpp people across when we we're sitting when we were haggling with the the issues mm. and we we're not finding solutions i said now you see the wisdom in we proposing that there should be a mediator if there was no mediator the two of us wouldn't we have boxed each other in this conference room and we all laughed. So I'm saying that I'm making this point to say that the president's directive is not casting stone. Mm. It can be varied to the advantage of the discussions. But that things that you're being dishonest, the parties are being dishonest. The first point, whether there's a mediator, whether there are CSOs that are added, professional groupings, whether you have signed on to the communique or whatever it is, you should first of all accept that you have these groups and you're going to disband them and that because they the analogy that oh because we didn't form them we can't disband them is neither here nor there she says you are not being honest and i asked richard the same set of questions is it not true that if you have not formed a group of people mm -hmm. you can't go about disbanding them is it not true it's a, it's a fact but we know that those who form them belong to us and those are the people who can hold accountable mm -hmm. and say if you don't we will crack the whip and uh, imp impose some disciplinary actions uh, and those who form them use them for for the party's benefit yes Is that correct? and i'm saying that the ndc has shown the way in our last presidential primaries mm -hmm. by which uh, by, by by not using them Okay. to deal with the election processes that we rolled out. Mm. That is a clean break. And moving forward, we'll have elections again. Okay. You'll see that we'll continue in that fashion. Okay. And so, in these discussions, we are of the view that we'll hold accountable those individuals. And that's what we say, expand their discussions okay. to even include other political parties, like you said. Right. We may not even know. The PPP may have their own set of uh, vigilante group. She, she's the CPP. C she's CPP. Yeah, the CPP, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they, may all, they may also have their own 
set of uh, political vigilantes. Mm. The, I think what? the PPPs uh, came, came to light not so long ago. Aha. Advertising. See, when you, look, can, don't you see that when you see any presidential uh, 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 candidate moving, mm. there are some four or five uh, uh, macho men around. Right. Who are they? It started from 1992. Who right? are they? And I've said that all the, all the presidential candidates who have had those people following them actually transition into government with them. The current president, the two guys who are in front, mm. are, are, are invisible forces. The two guys. JM had the same thing. Atabilis had the same That's thing. That's what I'm saying. That President Kofor had the same good. thing. Everybody. That's so, the point is, let's accept the fact that this is an issue and let's ban across, across board. Okay. This issue of just limiting it to only vigilante groups within okay. your political party will not help. Sir Rich, let him step in. Uh, Madam says you are not being honest, and I think I agree with her uh, that the parties are not being honest uh, okay. in terms of owning the groups and <laughs> getting a roadmap to disband them. And Amaliba now says that, look, the president's directive was not an order, yeah. and we could vary it for our own benefit. Your closing thoughts, and Madam will have the final word. Um, Jory, um just know that you didn't give me enough time today, so I just no, no, I gave you time. I was looking at my watch. I was looking at my clock all the time. You had a lot of time. No, and that lot of time was just question, question. Didn't allow me. I was asking you about questions too. Oh no, I played the victim. He has nothing to say, so he's okay. Somebody will allow him, so he doesn't say we didn't give him time. Madam says we are not honest. She is perhaps saying so by listening to Amaliba, because here's a man who says. You cannot disband something you didn't form. But then he, he, says, but then but he then says we should disband them across board. No, what, he, he just no, he no, said, no. I heard him. Just hold on, hold on. No, no. I'm the host here. Hold on. Richard. No, no. He said yeah, that. See, that's what Richard, you're doing no, no, again. Don't let me talk. No, no. You, he said that you can't disband them because you didn't form them. Yeah. But there are individuals within the party who have formed them. You can hold them. And you can hold them accountable. And you cannot say Johnny, you are, you are Johnny, disowning this Johnny, individual. He just That's said, what he said. Yeah, but he said you disband them across board. He right. says so. Right. The point I am trying to say here is this. When you begin to shift the goalpost, and in fact, there's a reason why goalposts are planted. Okay. So you can't shift them. You can't move them. Mm. When the pre we, Because the meeting they had yesterday and the subsequent one on the 29th, mm. which is coming, coming up, was called by the president mm. to achieve a specific end. Now, that meeting or that call, if that is exactly why they are meeting, then that asks for them to meet the two to discuss because the, t the issue affects the two. Now, you said affects you have gone. Ghanaians. No, no. The, the, the effect okay. Okay, that Ghanaians are feeling okay. originates from the two parties. Right. Now, the president said the two. Now, uh, Mr. Maliba saying the whole thing is variable and therefore you can vary it when you, you want. And that is where I'm talking about shifting the goalpost. We'll specific, one goal post. specific, you see, and, and, and so it gets to a point now, it's possible to shift it again because you have shifted it the first time. Where do you see so, it going? It going to a point where it it will lose the focus the president wants. So so now we're saying that let's add uh, civil society organizations. Let's have this. Let's have this. so the specific right now effect that you want is not going to be there. So it's going to be a national conversation that will carry on and to be a big document that is produced. And Instead, wrong, no, please, we're looking we're lo looking for a targeted solution to the matter. Mm. That's where the passion should be. That's where the commitment should be. And that's where, Johnny, I'm telling you, my party is committed to try to engage on the matter. A, to a, say. a targeted solution to a matter that has ripple effect. Ripple effect. An octopus effect. Yes. You see? Yeah. But, but where is the effect? Where is the issue coming from? All of us are feeling the effect. Okay. But who caused it? Okay, who are the people who cost it? And those people are the NDC MPP. We said, go sit and address this issue. Okay. The president didn't reach that instruction in a vacuum. You understand? Mm -hmm. Years of political experience and engagement with these two parties mm -hmm. to understand that, look, go sit down because you are the cause. Sit and see how you address this. And of course, the, the model is different. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. We know Mr. Azoka. We know Mr. B, Mr. C, Mr. D, who has influences or who are the... Or the more or less the, the, the organizers or the owners, if you like, of these groups. So if that is the case, you go sit down and say, Mr. Zoka, this ends today. Okay? If it doesn't end, we disown you. Mm. 
MPP, Mr. B, you, this ends today. If it doesn't end, that's the simple conversation the president wants. So that we can get to a point, not of this uh, going back and forth and shifting goalposts. Mm -hmm. The issue is grave. What we saw in Ayawa, so all of us say we should end it. The president said, go sit down and talk. Just do that. If that doesn't work, then all of us know that the president's directive didn't work. But now, when you are varying it, whose instruction is that anymore? Okay. You so, so the MPP so is the being key, honest. Absolutely. Okay. This party has always been cons uh, focused. No, Johnny. It, let's not pretend. No, I'm, In this, I'm, I'm asking you questions. Yes, yes. Oh, no, I'm just I, saying. I thought that when you mentioned Azoka and you said Mr. B, you were going to put a name to the alphabet B. You didn't put a name. Yeah, to because it. I don't know the name. You, you, you don't because know? Because I don't. As communications yeah. director of your party. Yes, because so I don't who know. Who are I, behind the invisible forces? The, okay. I, because, so no, I, because so but, oh, oh, allow it, was, it, was, it was very expressed okay. when you say Azoka. But you don't know the name. Hold on. It's very evident, okay. self-evident, when you say Azoka to link it to Azoka. Okay. that is evident. When he was saying who he did, is behind invisible force? Because I don't know. Delta who. I don't know. You who. don't know. I don't know. Who. Don't know. Don't know. But the truth yeah. of the matter is this: See, Johnny, in this country, F finally, Robert, yes, yes, in this, you can't keep the lady waiting. Anymore. Oh, of course. Yes. You see, you're using the, the lady matter just to, no, you know, strangulate okay. me and then stick allow our ladies to talk. Okay. Because okay. when it happens, the ladies and the, the women... But you made a mistake first. Form. You should have started from me. You started from Abaleba. No. So that's where you... Because you are the problem. She's the solution. <laughs> 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 Look, uh, Johnny, in this country, we all know, okay, between the two political parties, who has violent blood in them, mm. who actually go about touting that position that we are violent and we are proud of it mm. we know who the mpp we don't have that in us so if there is a conversation mm. that we have to go and sit down and address anything mm. that affects violence or that uh, it reduces violence in our elections mpp will want to be there our president wants peace to be part of our politics mm. he wants that in so, addition so to that door, open no, the door for CSOs other, to join in of course and have a but you see you see there is there is a reason okay. for the initial one look we can always ask okay. we you, can you always think ask. that it should Johnny, be skewed yes is that your party's no, position no 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 listen 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 there was a specific problem okay. and the president wanted an express solution so that's your so party's he says, position please please there can always be mm. A general discussion about it but the point of the matter is that all of us are feeling the effect okay. of vigilantism mm. but not all of us cost it okay you understand okay. so you treat the cause not the effect okay so and i'm saying so, it, that's your party's position that's that is the reasonable position okay. if you if you are sick you go to hospital the doctor treats the cause okay. not the effect okay. so the people who are causing it go sit down and and stop this so that all of us will not feel the effect thank you now when you have an NBC come to the room and shifting the goalpost and saying let the whole world come in mm. you you then know that this are a group of people who are not committed okay. to treating the thank cause of the much. problem uh, and yet they signed on to the communique that you both wrote together it's a pretense uh, thank you. That's pretense. Yes. Okay. Actually, uh, interesting. Ma ma Madam, you have a final thoughts. Uh, the women always bring. Uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting <laughs> because you see, from, from know, listening, know, listening to those, Richard, uh, we know those who are the bomb throwers. No, in this wait a minute. We listening to okay, Richard, hold on. bomb throwers. Richard, you know, um, bomb throwers. He said the president issued that statement right. based on his long. Um, service maybe mm. politically and whatnot. An advice. The, the, don't, don't the heckle my lady. The president knew. Nah. Don't heckle my lady. No, I'm no, just no, adding no, up. Oh, no, nobody heckles me. <laughs> oh, the really? President, no, no, nobody. Oh, this lady is tough. <laughs> the president knew <laughs> that these two parties, that the NDC and the MPP, had vigilantes. Mm. Else the president would have asked the police boss to go after the people. Right. That is why he said, the two of you go and sit down mm. and talk about it. You understand what mm. I'm saying? Yes. So when it, and when it comes to violence, please, between the two of you in recent times, you can, you can say that one of you is more violent than the other. Mm. But for me in the CPP, I would also say that you're just as violent as them if they are violent. Mm. I don't know if you get me. I get you. That's it. You understand? So for me sitting here, the two of you are violent. And this country doesn't need it. We don't need that kind of violence. And all I'm saying is that this whole Ayawaso, whatever, that has woken us up, it's something that we don't want to know. Mm. We don't want to see again. There's been a commission of inquiry. We're still waiting to, 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 to see what's in there. Mm. But then you, you, the you are talking... The NDC is asking for the report Okay, but then we, 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 we tend not to look at the fact that these vigilante people that we're seeing were armed. Mm. So just going there and saying that, finish, we have this band, go. It's not going to solve the, the issue. Because arms are 
involved and people are holding arms. Mm. What do we do with those who are armed? How do we collect back the arms? How do we know where they are? We are looking at situations where we are being told that people are being trained elsewhere. Right. As we sit now, mm. we do not know. This is a vast country. People might be training somewhere else. We don't know. Mm. You, you understand? Right. So these are some of the things. It is not just going out there and opening your mouth and saying that we have disbanded. Mm. We must have that effort to at least disarm mm. as well. And in disarming them, there's that other issue of finding something for them to do. So what do we find for them to do? Mm. Let's look at history. Let us always look at other countries, the way they've gone through it. Right. Let's look at Uganda. They went through a war. Mm. How did they disband their, their militias, mm. you know, from the opposition side and uh, uh, um, the Yuri uh, Museveni side? Right. Mm. Let's see how they did it. Let's look at Rwanda. How did they come around? <laughs> These are the things that we have to accept that we have a problem. If we do not accept that we have a problem and we just want to look at it like we want to be in power, so it's NDC and MPP, this country is going to burn come 2020. No. Please. Johnny, I can that's tell you that as part of that's our that's proposal, yeah. we, re we recommended the inclusion of the Small Arms Commission right. as part of the okay. largest stakeholder. Then the largest we, we stakeholder did all this. In. in fact, if you look Richard at... Richard said the, it could be looked at. Yes. I mean, yes. So, but you see, there's a specific it, issue. The, address that. Then we can do it. There's no specific issue. issue. There's specific yes, issue. issue. Yes, all of you must have been vigilante. To disband. You should agree. And this is bad. Bring in, bring in all everybody. Right. You have one second for me to say something. I, I'm, 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 I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. Johnny, Johnny. I'm saying that. They are not sincere Johnny. because Johnny. I am aware they, they, that they are assuring oh, their I'm I'm allowed allowed that they Okay. Thank you very much. Lawyer Abraham Amaleba is a member of the NDC's communication team. He's been my guest here. Uh, Richard Ahiagba is a communications director, deputy for the MPP, and uh, Rodling Ayana is a former vice chairman of the CPP. This country will not bend. We will be safe and secure from all alarm. We will be free. And you see why I keep saying shame on the politician. That's it.